Nilsson from Norway won it here in 07. And before that, who was it, John Bell? <laughs> Now, tip it, tip it, well done, congratulations to Melvin Evans and Patrick Walsh, they I keep going for the interview. That's full Irish, from what county? County Waterford. County Waterford. When I met you here, many years ago, that you were Irish by adoption. You're the third person to overseas to win the Fastness Rally, James Harrison and Andres Mikkelsen. Now you're the first person uh, as Dunlop national champion to bring the trophy across the water. And just as you're here, bring this trophy over here. You're now the first person to be presented with this publicly. And I'll ask John would you do that. And would you put your hand on, on the trophy as well, uh, Patrick? Right there. Jim, can you come here in the middle? Jim, over here, Jim. Where, where I'm standing. And it is saying, how about a big round of applause for the winner? <laughs> Melvin and Patrick. Melvin, well done, Melvin. <laughs> Pop the cork. And as well, and, and they spray each other. <laughs> Well, 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 did you hear that, Kevin? <laughs> and Kevin has nodded in his acclamation. <laughs> well done. Okay, bring on Kevin Barrett. And uh, finally, uh, a fantastic uh, <laughs> victory there for the Welsh men, for uh, Melvin and Patrick to take the, uh, the Fastness Trophy. So as he takes all his belongings out of the back, everything else goes uh, to the... And Sean Mullally, Mr. Triton Charles himself. A great Sean, we've noticed your absence. I'm told him. I'm told him. Of what you've done for motorsport, your family, yourself, you're nice and trim now. And it was great to have you back. We have been on the podium and to get so close to Melvin Evans uh, and yourself, you've done an awful lot for motorsport and everybody here appreciated that. Yeah, we've got to keep that Welshman to stay at home and do the rallying in his own country, but it would be grand. <laughs> and he's trying to sell the car to you. Uh, well, I made him an offer down there with half a bottle of brandy and he didn't take it. Like, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Don't Kevin. Okay, Sean, come up here. Get a picture. That's the connection between Sean and uh, Melvin. Bring on Darrell Reardon and Tony McShane from Campsie in County Derry. Yes, we want a picture of these two boys because normally they don't. Oh, Tony's gone. <laughs> next year. <laughs> the Bill Up Championship next year. I have no plans at the moment. Um, we'll see if we we'll get the car ready over Christmas now and see what we'll do next year. Let's see if we might do the national lottery, right? we'll see. Uh, everybody was the one that hoping that you would say yes. You had a great uh, year. I, I built you up before you came here in the Super 1600 in the clear. You still have that car? I still have that car, yeah. Is it, is it for sale? Are you going to put it as a, a, a fall back or maybe you have a go at another championship? Oh no, it's for sale. I see it's for sale. To finance this one for the championship next year, I have it. Ladies and gentlemen, a big round of applause to you. For Darren O'Reilly, you see a great fellow. Well done, Darren. Fantastic. Great. Man from Middleton, Cork. Yeah. Uh, and member of the Munster Club. Isn't the Munster Cup? And with the famous uh, science racing gearbox, Ed and Ed interviewed, winning it the two wheel drive. And the Southern Four winner. Isn't that a nice one? Twice in one month. Twice in one month. Yes, something happened at the last time. You should have won the, the last one. But you overcame uh, that. <laughs> you were coming down.
out at the end of the stage at a rate or not, what happened? I was in a gear too high, Dougie. We were, should be in third gear. We were in fourth gear and lost it in midair. She's done a 360 in midair. And for, uh, we were just very lucky to get away with it. I thought it was all over, tell you the truth. But uh, we survived it and uh, we landed in the right direction. Put it into gear. Hit the start button and away again. Racing in the right direction. Facing in the right direction. I thought all four corners of the car were after getting it because Brian O'Mahony came on us after the accident. He said there was bushes all over the road. He was looking to see where we were going. <laughs> Fantastic. And to win, as you say, new... Reynolds winner, Super 1600 winner. Well done. Third for, for Brian. Well done, Brian. Blue pen here, Brian Sharkey. <laughs> and uh, Eugene Negan. Well done, Eugene. Fantastic. Yeah, it's well done. And look, at there's not a mark. Check in the bond, boy. And they are the overall... Two-wheel drive Dunlop National Champions. Declan and Brian Boyle from Donegal. And Brian Boyle. Yes, <laughs> and everybody gets a spray. <laughs> well, congratulations, Thomas and Simon Foley. Well done. This is good, too, boy. And now we have the the 2010 Group N National Dunlop Rally Champions, Sean Flanagan and Brian Duggan. Uh, well, I suppose you always have your doubts, but you just keep looking away, isn't that it? <laughs> certainly is, and Brian, I say, has been encouraging you all along the line. Come on, come on, we can do it. Yeah, Brian was quite good now, and uh, I'd have to say to br both Brian and Dan Carroll. Well done. The best local crew. Big round of applause for... Brian! <laughs> Would you believe? <laughs> Come on out here! Fantastic! Eugene, that's what everybody was...